What's up, y'all? Today I'm gonna to show you the basics of using a refractometer to measure the strength of your coffee, and then we're gonna look at how we use that to calculate our extraction percentage. Now, a refractometer is just a tool that measures the strength of your coffee, and it gives you this number in something called TDS, which is Total Dissolved Solids. The higher the TDS, the stronger your coffee is, the lower your TDS, the weaker your coffee is. If you have a cup of coffee with a TDS of 1.4, that's telling you that 1.4% of the stuff that's in that cup is dissolved coffee solids, and the remaining 98.6% is basically water. And while this is interesting in and of itself, this number really starts to come alive because you can use your TDS to calculate your extraction percentage. We'll get into that later. For now, let's get going on using the refractometer. I'm using the VST version 3 refractometer. This is not a cheap tool, but it is the industry standard. Now, before you measure anything, you want to clean it and calibrate it. So get out a little alcohol swab and clean that little magic eyeball. Now, to calibrate it, we're going to use distilled water. So take a fresh, clean pipette, get a few drops of distilled water, and put it right on that magic eyeball. The closer to room temp the water is, the more accurate the calibration is going to be. So if you have distilled water for this purpose, you don't want to keep it in the fridge. If it is in the fridge, you want to pull it out and let it settle to room temperature. Once you got it in there, you want to give it a few seconds for the water and the refractometer to reach a temperature equilibrium, and then you can calibrate. Close the lid and tap the go button to turn the refractometer on, and hit the menu button to scroll through until you see set zero. Once you see set zero, hit the go button again to start calibration. It'll let you know it's reading, and you might see the light turn off on the display. This is okay. Once it says ready, you're calibrated and ready to roll. So clean off the eye with a paper towel, and then hit it with the alcohol swab again just to make sure it's clean. The cleaner it is, the more accurate and consistent your readings are going to be. Now we can take some readings. So the first thing to do is take your coffee sample and make sure you de-stratify it. Stir the crap out of it. You want to make sure the sample you're getting is a representation of the brew in its entirety and not just one part of the extraction. Use a syringe to suck up coffee. You don't need to fill the syringe up and screw a filter on the end of the syringe. Once you've got the coffee in the syringe and the filter on the end of the syringe, don't put it straight onto the refractometer. You want to put it into another clean cup. And what this is going to do is going to bring down the temperature of the sample. So this thing's going to read its most accurate when everything's close to room temperature. From there, you're going to take another clean pipette and use that to transfer your coffee sample onto the eye of the refractometer. Close your lid, press go, wait a few seconds, and a number's gonna pop up. That is the TDS of your coffee. All right, now that we know our TDS, we can calculate our extraction percentage. Our extraction percentage tells us what percent of the coffee grounds weight ended up in the cup. To think about it simply, the higher your extraction percentage, the more stuff you pulled out of the ground coffee. The lower your extraction percentage, the less stuff you pulled out of the ground coffee. The easiest way to come up with this percentage is by using the VST Coffee Tools app. If you're a coffee professional, you probably already have this. If you're not, I highly suggest downloading it. Even if you're kind of a weekend warrior, it's cheap enough to where you should add it to your arsenal if this stuff is interesting to you. To use it, you just open up the app and plug in all your numbers. You can put in the amount of dry grounds you use, your brew water weight, your TDS, it does the calculation for you and will give you your extraction percentage. The other way to do it involves math, and I hate math, so I never use this method. So if you really want to punish yourself, here you go. Take your TDS, multiply it by your end beverage weight, take that number and divide it by your dry dose, and you'll have your extraction percentage. Now, while there are certain quality implications connected to strength and TDS numbers, it's important to remember that these numbers won't tell you if your coffee tastes good or not. You're going to have to determine that for yourself. They provide a really awesome objective analysis for quality control and quality assurance. Maybe you have multiple locations and you want to make sure your coffee at one location tastes exactly like your coffee at another location. Maybe you're noticing that the taste of your coffee is changing as your burrs get a little bit more dull and you're not really sure what to do about it. If you have a baseline to taste against, you can go back and see if what you're getting now measures up to what you got before. And that's my favorite way to use this tool is make coffee to where I think it tastes delicious, measure it, take note of those numbers, and now that's my baseline. Again, it's important to remember that the numbers are just information. Depending on what you want to get out of your coffee, how your coffee is roasted, the style of coffee that you're going for, there's no one set of numbers that's going to make amazing coffee. It's just too hard to say that 1.35 at 21% extraction is going to make all coffees awesome all the time. It just doesn't work like that. So to get the most out of a tool like this, you really want to blend your palate 
with a little bit of the science that goes with it. That being said, if you're new to coffee and you really want to have some numbers to go by, a TDS of 1.15 to 1.55 with an extraction percentage between 18 and 22% is generally considered normal. That's it, y'all. Welcome to the wonderful, sometimes crazy world of refractometers. Stay dialed and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace. Yeah, dude. For sure, bro. For sure we're gonna make coffee. Definitely gonna make some coffee. Definitely gonna do it for sure. For sure, dude.